<laughs> what's going on guys welcome back welcome back to some more hunter hunter for a minute there i didn't even realize like the recording started but i didn't even realize that it started but anyways let's continue here um welcome back to some more hunter hunter reactions man you already know um what's going on um i know you guys have been anticipating the hell out of these reactions so i'm trying to um push these out you know as much as possible to be honest um these hunter hunter reactions it's really the only thing um on the channel right now um that i'm really pushing 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 forward um not necessarily to get rid of it um but um you guys are enjoying it so much i am enjoying it so much you guys know how much i'm enjoying this anime um so you know faster I, I push out these reactions of course it's the faster we get to the end of it um i don't want to rush through i also want to do a very in-depth review of this anime i also really do want to do a really in-depth breakdown of characters and stuff like that and i'm currently working on it i've taken some notes gone through um some of the episodes from from way back and stuff like that already so it's gonna be a really in-depth review of this anime when it's over so be prepared for that okay all right so we have got the meeting of gun and pito how will this meeting um go i don't know it's gun and Killua going in there i don't know how this is going to go and we also are preparing for the battle between Meruem and Netero, so we have all those things to look forward to. Who knows how many episodes I will be doing today. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying to do more than five, but if, if five you get, then it's five you get. Okay, you already know. Um, it depends. It definitely depends on how I how I feel and stuff like that. If I if I'm at a point where I feel like okay, I can you know end the reaction here, but it looks like the five increments I've been doing pretty good. So who knows? I might stop at five, or if thing goes well, then I will continue to get my fill. Let's just say that. So. Brilliant fight between um, Respect to Shoot um, and Yuppie. It was a good fight to watch. Not only just because of the fight, but to know that pretty much, you know, how Shoot was fighting. Now he's basically fighting for his life. Um, also, <laughs> the coward, the cowardice is the, the cowardly wolf, you know, so... Carly Wolf, man, um, trying to to um, find Melioran, and he can't find <laughs> Melioran because Melioran is out of there. Melioran is all of there, but he's super skeptical, man. Super skeptical. I don't know why he's so skeptical, you know. So that that was just crazy. He's just suspicious of everybody. He's like, man, I wonder if he's in on it. Is he in on it? Did he turn to? <laughs> um, but in the last reaction, man, um, it's just certain things that I see that that's happening. That just that the story is making sure that it shows you these, you know, different um, parallels, you know, in, you know, inversions of people's characters and stuff like that that is so different in this arc um that i see that i will be talking about in the review knuckle has revealed himself trying to draw yuppie's attention from shoot uh, which he kind of succeeded in in doing um he tried to get rid of apr we all know you can't get rid of apr but he's barely doing any damage to someone who has what I think they said he has like 200,000 aura. That's nuts. Compared to Gun, which is like when Knuckle fought Gun. I know Gun is probably stronger by now. His aura is probably way stronger than that by now. But when 
gone fought knuckle his is his, his um his aura was was sitting somewhere around i think it was like 10 the 10 or 12 thousand i think i don't remember exactly i would or was it a little bit more than that? Or was it 20,000? Somewhere around that area, okay? I don't remember exactly how much it is, okay? So, um, it's somewhere around that area. Whether it be 10,000 or 20,000, um, it's still, in comparison to UP, is, you know, UP is like 10 times that amount of aura. So, we get to understand how powerful UP is just based on that. He's, he's up there. And the king is way stronger than any of the king's guard. So I do believe that um, that it, that this is going to be something to behold, you know, this fight between Meruem and Netero. So we're going to jump into this, man. Episode 116. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Remember, guys, like the video. I know you guys already know what to do. And today again, you know what? This time around, we're going to aim for 75 likes. 75 likes. All you have to do, hit that like button. Um, whether, whether, you, whether, <laughs> whether you're going to go watch the episodes or after the episodes, make sure you give that like button a like, man, if you like the reaction. Of course, I will see you guys right back here for the review. All right, so here we are doing a review of Hunter Hunter. I think I just did 116 to 125. That's crazy. Um, that's nuts. I know you guys probably are not going to be expecting that many. I didn't intend on doing that many, but I just kept going because I had the time. And as I said, as I've said before, when I have the time, I will try to put out as much as possible um, when it comes on to Hunter Hunter, yes, I could do other stuff, and I know people have been saying, "Oh, you could, you know, you could do this, you could do that." But um, the reason why I do this is because this is a show that I'm enjoying the most at the moment on the channel, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not necessarily, in, in some way, it's kind of preferential. It may seem like I'm giving anime a little bit of edge over everything else that I do. But I'm enjoying Hunter Hunter so much that when I start watching it, it's like I don't want to stop. And if I have time, um, as I said, I've dealt with a, with a lot of things. And because I have a little bit free time, because when I get busy again, it might go back down to, to three, four episodes. So who knows? You know what I'm saying? So when I have the time, I'm trying to push. I'm trying to watch as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to to um to do one episodes a day or something like that i don't have time for that so when i do sometimes i get up get a um what do you call it like a, a block of time to do things and i just try to pump out as much reactions as possible um there's other things that i have to do guys it's not just youtube so when it comes on to these 10 episodes that I just watched, we got to see, let me see if I can remember everything that happened. So, um, we got to see Gunn's decision on what he was about to do. He was angry. Of course he's super angry, but there's this black part that that's appearing with his aura now that I, I really do not like it because they're obviously showing, they're obviously showing Gunn's, um, is change jesus is change right they're obviously so showing his change which is which is um you know from him being this um this good quote unquote good character into being someone of a morally um morally susceptible to evil if you want to if you want to call it he's turning into something different from the gun that we've known throughout the series so far and it's slowly it was slowly happening and i've been seeing it and this is something that i am going to have in the in the, in the review of the series later on um which i'm going to talk about really in depth about gun's character and certain things that i noticed about his character that um 
that is really like if you looking at it at on the surface it's nice and it's good but if you actually should know somebody like that in real life you would be like why is this okay now just because but it's not okay then you get what i'm saying so it's like sometimes he's a little bit morally challenged in some areas that if you really should if you knew somebody like gun in real life you probably wouldn't like them i'm gonna be honest <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when it when it comes on to um everything that's going on Killua, you know kind of trying to reach him telling him to calm down evaluate the situation you know and Killua calmly deducing the situation of what happened based on the information that he knows because they know there should be a third party right there should be a third party so he evaluated things um but he was discouraged by what um gone said to him you know what i'm saying be basically telling him that you know this has nothing to do with you in not so many words be like this doesn't mean anything to you so you can stay calm but that ain't that ain't it sometimes people can be in a situation where they know you know doo-doo is hitting the fan right doo-doo hitting the fan i'm trying not to curse on youtube anymore so yeah <laughs> so doo-doo hits the fan right and you just gotta adjust you gotta stay calm it's not all the time you gotta be all encouraged and stuff you know what i'm saying um gunners never really lost anybody you know killer probably has seen countless people die including those who he have killed you know what i'm saying so in terms of seeing somebody a little bit more i want to say opposite of him good natured you know what i'm saying to seeing somebody like that and be becoming friends and for that person not to treat him like a monster you know what i'm saying that that could be the reason why killer really really you know other than respect like loves gone as a friend you know so i'm so glad that palm reminded killua that dude no matter what you are the best option for gun you are so never doubt that you know what i'm saying i believe that 100 that he is the only one it's kind of like you have a he, they're best friends they're best buddies they're they're brothers you know you know what i'm saying they're they're brothers you know what I'm saying? Family. Brother from another mother. However you want to say it. They're brothers in my eyes. And he has changed Killua for the better. You know what I'm saying? His influence on Killua. And now Killua is kind of seeing something in him that probably he probably Killua probably even blames himself because this kill this killer instinct that he has or he has shown. You get what I'm saying? maybe he feels like that's rubbing off on gun you know what i'm saying and he could be blaming himself for that that's not explicitly said or anything it's just wheels spinning in my head but the thing that i really want to focus on for this um we got moral out upe evolution all of that good stuff happening we saw how great killer wanted to let off some steam we were introduced to godspeed um which is a combination of what whirlwind whirlwind and and um lightning right so we also have um morel almost dying um and, and knuckle had to come in basically knuckle had to take off apr well not necessarily that he had to it's more of like he made a choice because he wanted to save morel um Kanab looking like an old man. I don't know why he looks so shriveled up and stuff. Is that his real appearance? Who knows? I mean, it hasn't been that long since this thing started going down. We all know this. It's probably it's probably been maybe a little bit over an hour, I want to say, since all of this been going on. So it hasn't been long. Um, We saw Chitu died. Silva came in. Looked like he came in from the sky, took out Chito, whatever you want to call him, Chitu, Ch Chito, Ch Ch whatever you want to call him, trying to mess with Grandpa Zoldik, you will get smashed, okay, so, 
that was pretty cool to see. But the thing I want to focus on mainly, we got the Netero and Meruem fight going on. And we saw how that's progressing. You know what I'm saying? Meruem just being a boss. Um, I mean, Netero is throwing some tough stuff at him. Let us pray. And <laughs> I'm definitely going to write that down as a, as a, as, as a merch idea to have a, to have a shirt, to have a, um, to have a shirt with Netero on it in that stance with let us pray <laughs> or Buddha bless you. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have that, that, uh, probably going to have that on a merch. Um, quote me on that. If, if I forget, please remind me to do it when I eventually decide to do merch, which is not going to be anytime soon. It's probably going to be probably another year before I start doing merch, um, depending on the growth of the channel, of course. But as I said, the thing that I want to focus on in this review mainly, got about five more minutes. I don't like to make my reviews more than 15 minutes. So the thing that I really want to talk about is really the situation that's going on out there with Meruem. As I, I find it the most interesting doing this arc. Even though, you know, Killua and Gun went through a lot. Not, I'm not talking about, not the arc. I should say these 10 episodes that I just watched, right? I find what's going on with Netero and Meruem more interesting than what's going on between Killua and Gun and Gun and Pito. All that stuff that was going on in there. Learn about the abilities, all that good stuff. Even Ikago has shown some really good resolve during these 10 episodes. Respect to him, respect to even Welfin. You know what I'm saying? Learning about his past. That's why I'm wondering if Gy if Gyro is Ikago because he's like, Gyro? You know what I'm saying? Like he, you know, we did we learn about Ikago's past? I don't think we did. I'm wondering if he is. He could be because his face when he said the name, you know what I'm saying? And then finding out that Gyro had basically an older uh, older brother, not by blood, but you know what I'm saying? He calls him his brother. Be interesting to know who Gyro is. At first, I, at first, at one time I was thinking it was the king, but I don't think it is the king. I, You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Because... You know, as I said, there's this battle going on in Meruem's head, and Netero noticed it right away, which props to him. You know what I'm saying? It's Meruem wanting to have a conversation. And that, that little speech he gave before he sat down is why I said it's the most interesting thing to me. Because to think that the person that came out of his mom just slapping people's head off, and the person he is right now, willing to reason i mean that's character development is not not so many episodes i think he has the best character development in this arc so far i think i've said that before right i think he has the most interesting he's not necessarily a antagonist he is but at the same time he's more of an anti-hero just under trying to understand who he is Netero not really giving him that chance, but he still wants to talk because he's like, he's like, eventually at first, I'm going to have to kill the majority of y'all. But at the core of it, I just want change. It kind of reminds me of Sasuke's dilemma, right? But I don't want to talk about not Naruto. I want to talk about Hunter Hunter. So kind of reminds me to say it's just the, the same kind of vision that Sasuke had um, when he returned to help with the war. Right, he wants to become a cocky, but oh, let me kill the strongest guy alive and my best friend so I can achieve that. <laughs> but, anyways, let's. Um, Meruem is the type of character that I love to see in anything that I watch because it's it's the person that believes that they there's certain things that they have to do to get the job done, right? Whether it be morally right or wrong they want to get it done they don't care what other people think if they believe that they're powerful enough to get the job done you see me with the career picker here take that picture right there <laughs> anyways um crazy it, it's just it's um 
sometimes when you when you actually listen to what he had to say, right? That's why my face was like that during the reaction because I was like, he makes a lot of sense. But on the other hand, what would you have to do to get that mission accomplished is like not ideal, <laughs> right? So, you know, for Netero, and, and in a sense too, Netero is kind of undermining what, what Meruem is saying because at the same time he's looking at it, it's like, dude, do you remember that it was a freaking ant, as you call them, that came to you and asked for mercy to save his mom, which is Kurt, right? So how can you look at Meruem right now and don't want to have that conversation? Maybe you can talk some sense into him. You never know. Maybe you could look at him and be like, um, I understand where you're coming from, but we could work together, try to make a world, the world a better place without mass murder, without genocide. We could do this. You know what I'm saying? Because I never knew. Because if if he can have compassion for Kurt, he can have compassion for Meruem. Understanding that the dude right now is wrestling between is, you know, he's wrestling in between being an ant and a human. You see that. You initially saw that. So that for me is just makes it so much more interesting because I'm like, why Netero going so hard? Is it because he just wants a good fight? You know what I'm saying? Why not have this conversation? We all want this situation to be resolved without no, um, you know what I'm saying? With the least amount of bloodshed as possible. So why irritate the, the guy even further? You know what I'm saying? It's just to me, I'm like, if it was me, I would have that conversation, regardless of what the outcome is, whether we're going to fight afterwards or, you know, we're going to be at peace or try to work together. Regardless of what happens after, I would try to have that conversation, but Netero was not having it. So I think, to me, I think that was the most interesting thing that happened during these 10 episodes, and I hope you guys enjoyed my, my review. Hopefully, hopefully you guys don't disagree too much. <laughs> if you do disagree, it's no problem, man. Just leave it in the comment section. Let me know what you think um, of these 10 episodes. What happened the first time you watched it, when you saw Godspeed for the first time. A lot of things was revealed. UP's transformation was pretty cool, too. Um, learning about Poo's ability was pretty cool, too. Him being able to clone himself, escaping from, from smoke jail and all of that stuff is... All that stuff was pretty cool, man. I love it. Return of Nav, of Knav, and all that good stuff. Save and shoot, pretty awesome stuff. Palm, conquering her, you know what I'm saying? Her being reborn out of the cocoon, and all of that good stuff. All of that good stuff, man. Pretty brilliant, brilliant, brilliant writing. I have to say, brilliant writing. The events that are taking place, I'm the narrator is the MVP of this arc hands down quote me on that the, i tell you the narrator is the mvp because there's not a lot of action during the arc you may think there's a lot but there's really not we go we'll get one episode of action and then the next two three episodes there's nothing it's just dudes running around and talking so the narrator really holds the pace and then holds the show together during those slow moments you know what I'm saying? And keeps the pacing going and make it seem like it's just going by like that. And that's why I said, man, the narrator is the MVP of this arc so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you hit that like button if you have not done so already. Leave a comment in the comment section, man. And subscribe if this is your first time seeing one of my reactions. Of course, there's more to come. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts. And I will see you guys next time. For some more hunter hunter peace